What's up guys, doing a little update and explanation video today. So I uh, having a little bit of trouble keeping my voltage up. Um, the other day I was uh, coming home from work and decided I might want to try and crank it up. So of course uh, I snapped my belt here. Of course it uh, turned into a piece of spaghetti after that. So I just uh, finally, two <coughs> excuse me, two days later, uh, I have the new belt here. You can tell it's uh, nice and tight when it sounds like a guitar string. Um, so also I'd like to just uh, give a quick uh, overview of the dual alternator setup on this, which is uh, it's a very uncommon vehicle to have dual alternators with. Uh, so what I've done here is I've mounted two bolts here into the intake manifold that are already there. Those are really easy to get to. Just a simple piece of flat bar going across. Uh, next I have I have that bolt tying into uh, one of the valve cover bolts in the head. I mean the timing case bolts in the head. This one down here is going into um, timing case also on the head. Then over here we have a bolt going also into the head which holds down the fuel rail and eventually they all connect to here and it supports the upper tab on the large case alternator and I've taken the stock Subaru um, tensioner block and used that to tension my secondary one and of course I had to make a new tensioner block and also had to put in this idler pulley here to get the belt routing correct for uh, the um, power steering pump. I just machined it out of a piece of steel, threaded in this bolt vertically for a height adjustment. This bolt here ties into the tab on this alternator. And the that is just threaded into the block as well completely stock crank pulley. What I'm going to be doing next is upgrading to a six rib cinch, six inch diameter. If you know any engines with that uh, configuration please let me know in the comments. Uh, this stock one is five inch and, or 5.33 inch and five rib which is not quite cutting it. I'd really like a larger diameter. And then I have a custom pulley that I made here um, off out of a, uh, uh, just a, I forget what brand it is, um, but a pulley I just ordered online. It's actually very, very small. If you compare it to my hand, it's actually a very small pulley. It is six rib, so it is ready to go. And I cannibalized uh, this stock Subaru uh, five rib pulley to make it work. Um, and then that's really it for the dual alternator setup. What I'm going to be doing in the future is a possibly four or five alternators. What I'm going to be doing is taking the power steering pump and moving it into this section here. Of course, moving all the lines around necessary to do so. And then I'm going to be putting a large case, hopefully moving this one over a little bit, another large case alternator here, and possibly another one or possibly two in these two locations here and maybe possibly one more in here most likely just going to be putting uh, one of the D4700 batteries in there uh, then that's really it that's all the space I have of course I'd like to do more but I don't have exactly uh, all that kind of money laying around <laughs> so if you'd like to donate <laughs> I'd gladly take donations um, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. So for now, this is Inclined signing out. If you order decals, they will be coming very soon. I promise you that. All right, guys, this is Inclined signing out.